Oh, well, it's kind of funny hearing my own voice. Is it too loud or too no, not no, loud no. enough? It's good. No, it's good. Right. It's weird. You never thought about rapping? <laughs> like making music? <laughs> no. Singing? No. Well, I I actually wanted to sing a long for a long time. My dad was a musician, so like my oh. brother's a drummer. My cousin was in a band, but it was like rock music. So I would be in a rock band for sure. Crazy. Yeah. You know how to play instruments? No. Hmm. No. You would just be like the lead singer. I would be the singer. For we were sure. listening to the School of Rock right before you got here. <laughs> have you seen that movie? Of course, I have. <laughs> <laughs> My sister works at School of Rock. Oh, really? oh, <laughs> yeah. I used to drop past that place. Wait, so like, are they like, affiliated? Like, like the, so. the actual School of Rock and the movie? Or is, I don't know, but it is a, a music like basic, school. Oh wow, that's awesome. I don't, Maybe so. they, I don't think they're affiliated at all. No. I wouldn't think so. Like <laughs> Jack Black. Jack Black. Is he I even, love Jack Black yeah. so much. Some of the bread. Have you heard his band, Tenacious D? Yeah. Have yeah. you seen the movies? Of course. What, so how old are you? We're the same. We the same age. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like if you haven't, I feel like if you don't know like School of Rock or like Tenacious D, but like a lot of it's people like a very don't awkward like, time. A lot of people don't like Jack Black for some reason. Do they? They don't. I don't know. Mm. I haven't like. I love him. Yeah, Not I feel like. I know. Especially yeah. like even after the Mario movie, I think he like hated to like oh a younger Oh my disc, god, like I have peaches, peaches on my spoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. I feel like he's done so much, bro. Like. I remember when I was younger, like he set like the record for Kids Choice Awards, like hosting them shits. Oh my god! Like, I feel like Bro's done so much, you know what I'm saying? Over man. the years, there was like, how can anybody really like? I never heard nothing bad about Bro, like no bad words, like no like weird no. shit, nothing. Like, have you ever seen a picture of um like him and Angelina Jolie? No. Like at the panel, like, guess he's Kung Fu Panda, but she was in the oh. movie too. So like he was like, that's when she <laughs> was course. pregnant, <laughs> and he was like rubbing her in the, like belly. Like it was like I don't know, it was cute. You feel me? But you could tell like she made like he made her comfortable too. You know. I love him. I seen him at Lala. He's so oh, good. Yeah, like what a dude. Like that's what I'm saying. Like how can anybody hate this man? And he Kung Fu Panda. That's yeah, crazy. Kung Fu Panda. He's incredible. I love him so much. That boy got in his uh voiceover bag and never got out. All right, let's start. Welcome back. To use a friendly podcast. The friendly. The friendly is pod. See, the friendly is podcast. This is like having now. No, yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I am your host, Squared Hill. Pablo Trees. And it's Jason. And today. today oh, yeah, go ahead. Bro. Very special guest. No, you go. No, no, you go. You go. They're fighting for well, you. Go fight, guys. <laughs> no, please. Uh, today we have a very special guest, friend of the pod, a athlete, a chef. Um, all around, I feel like you be everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like he you, does you do, a lot. you do a lot. You be in all types of spaces. Um, super, super gal, Adriana, <laughs> Trinoculus. Yeah. Welcome to User Friendly. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the friendliest podcast. You know, I, I always have issues saying your last name. Garibay. Like, Garib- oh, see, you were right. Yeah. Ooh, okay. It's because I knew a different Garibay in college. Oh. Yeah. Garibay. Who? Um. Uh, his name is Freddie Garibay. I don't know him. But <laughs> it's just from, yeah. I my yeah. name was like so rare. <laughs> <laughs> like How's your week? What you been up to? Man, my week's been good. I just been at home. I recently took a big leap and like quit my nine to five. Oh, Let's shit. Go. Right. And Love my it. mental health has been so good. Damn. Mm. See, <sighs> let's all quit our jobs now again. Right. Because <laughs> that's how to do it, for real. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I've... I've always been the kind of person to work like corporate jobs where it's mm-hmm. like very like white based and being a Latina, if I ever speak up, I'm I'm feisty or spicy or whatever they want to call me. And uh, there was an opportunity that I reached for that I deserved and I earned, but it was given to someone else. And I was just like, you know what? I think that's a sign for me to like leave. And uh, I, I just did it. I literally just walked out. And I didn't look back. So I feel great. Drop a bomb for walking yeah, out. Like, I got to appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel good so other than that i've just been relaxing um i just did a collab with kasori which is like a kitchenware brand mm-hmm. so they have like air fryers grills and stuff so they sent me an air fryer touch screen i was like okay <laughs> and uh i i did some lemon pepper wings i'm gonna post tomorrow so it's gonna be okay. for the super bowl mm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that it is the super bowl this weekend it is yeah. y'all got any plans super bowl plans i'll be snowboarding Whoa. Of course, of course, she will be <laughs> snowboarding this weekend, Super Bowl weekend. <laughs> Go Chiefs! Um, but yeah, damn, that's crazy. So you were happy that they won? Yeah, 
Wow. I love the Chiefs. My, um, Is that your team? Yeah. Okay, I feel you. I mean, I love, I love the Bears, yeah. obviously, like Chicago, I, hello, but I'm a, I'm a, Chiefs. I'm a Cowboy fan, so I go through my own struggles. Yeah, anyway, I bet you so. do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> most definitely. Ain't touching another Super Bowl. I mean, not right now, but definitely not in like the next two years. Damn. Yeah. Um, well, Jason, you're back from Hawaii. How was that? Uh, Welcome back. We missed yeah. you. Is, is my mic on? Uh, sorry. Uh, Keep going. No, nah, I'm just. Wondering. No, it's not. <laughs> it wasn't. No. Nah. Uh, it's wow. it's weird. It has like a weird reverb. True. You gotta say your name again, man. They it's Jason. <laughs> it's Jason. <laughs> no, nah, I definitely heard you the first time. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, yeah, I came back from Hawaii. Fuck, man. It was it was a trip. It was interesting. Uh, so was that like a bachelor's trip? I still yeah. Gotta, so it was like a it was trip. like a joint bachelor trip. Okay. Um, with the bachelorette group as well. Um, I'm still feeling the effects right now. I feel like I'm just so tired mm. i just been going back to work like right after but it was great i went on a boat we we're at the beach um we ate at a lot of places like a luau or whatever you guys oh, heard of that yeah, yeah that sounds fine yeah they showed the pig tab they so literally went around the so y'all heard of that yeah so y'all heard of a luau? <laughs> they literally went around <laughs> and, <laughs> and showed yes. a pig they never yeah. had, never seen that before. yeah i never seen that before <laughs> Um, it was great though, yeah. Oh, that's fine. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. Yeah, it was just that plane ride was crazy. How like, long was it? It was like ten hours. Uh, Fuck, dude. Yeah, we'll like fly, who did y'all fly with? I fly with uh, United. Okay, but on the way back it was crazy too. Like, because I was on one seat, it was me next to a, a lady, like an older lady, and then she's like, "You know that seat's empty, right?" And I was just like, "Yeah, I, I can move over later." <laughs> like when we're all like situated, you know. So I moved over. But then she starts taking the middle seat by going like this. Uh. <laughs> like Yo, the legs. It was yeah. crazy. What the fuck? And I was just looking at her like, bro, your feet are damn near touching my legs. Like, what are you doing? But then, like, she, she was just a nasty person overall. But <laughs> for 10 hours, I was just like. For 10 hours. Uh, yeah. The long, it would have been the yeah. longest damn near playing ride of her life. Yeah. You know how they give you alcohol on, like, international flights? Mm-hmm. Is that mm-hmm. considered international? Or no, I mean, because it's. No. Uh, but I think it depends on uh, the length of it, no? Okay. Dude, the food was sense. terrible. On the plane? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> on the way there, because I, I, I don't go on trips a lot. Okay. So, but like they gave, like they were like, do you want Asian noodles or chicken? And I was just like, I don't know what Asian noodles are, so I'm going to get a chicken. <laughs> so I got the chicken, right? <laughs> and it was so cold well, and like- so like just like a brick what yeah. was with it though was it like a chicken breast was it was, it a thigh? It was, it was like a chicken breast they had some little salad and it was like some like quinoa like rice but like i took a bite of the chicken and i was like i can't even eat this bro like what is this it's like, a, it it like a brick Damn. so i didn't eat it it's <laughs> crazy well back in chicago yeah. we were celebrating <laughs> We were celebrating my guy's birthday. Oh, yeah. Shout out Mr. February. The, Mr. Only, Mr. the only yes, February. Yes, sir. I mean, that's the crazy part. I, just, I gotta explain it to you. Are you Aquarius? I yeah, am right? Aquarius. Yeah, yeah yes. Aquarius. Um, but there's a lot of people born in February, but I am Mr. The, February. The I didn't ask for it. <laughs> Actually, at his party, or at Money Gun, there was this girl that was telling him, like, come say happy birthday to my, my best friend, my best friend. And then this girl was like, it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't come to me. <laughs> no, nah, fact, but I think she <laughs> she pushed you. She yeah, pushed she me. got physical. She was like, "All right, get, get out of here." Get but I would say, you know what? I believe you when I said that because mm-hmm. I'm like, I was saying that all week. I'm like, I don't care who's if your birthday's on the first, and my birthday's on the sixth for real. But I'm like, my birthday as soon as February starts, it's my birthday <laughs> every day to the sixth. Such a diva, you know what I mean? Honestly, I'm, <laughs> I'm the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I celebrate all summer. You got your summer birthday, baby. July twentieth. Yeah, see, you oh, got a good okay. birthday. Kids, you're yeah, you got a good birthday. <laughs> I'm also a cancer. Birthday. Nice. Oh, you are. Yeah, yeah. I like cancers. My mom's a cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cancers are great. Um, yeah, y'all, you know, <laughs> you, you, I didn't, you know, sometimes, Jason. <laughs> I'm not gonna like. Yeah, I'm a little. Yo, you're a yeah. spicy cancer. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like you, you yeah. spicy. Yeah. I don't know. I went to go see Ralph Barbosa. Barbosa. What is that? The He's a comedian. comedian. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did see that. Yeah, yeah, we went on Saturday, so it was like right before his um, birthday celebration. But that was fire. It was a good time. He's so funny. He's really funny. Yeah. yeah. He's oh like he doesn't try that hard. So it's like it's cool. You feel like you can relate to him. One hundred percent. Um, I was trying to remember like where we like first met you. Do you have an idea? Or I honestly think through, it was like, just social, social media. media. Yeah. I told you we like OG IG. Yeah, like, you know like we're OG like, Twitter. No, that's OG too, Twitter. for sure. But I feel like <laughs> you know OG Twitter is like different. <laughs> Back like in the day when no we didn't really, care. Like, I feel like it was just like a 
mutuals. I feel like probably the only person. Yeah, the only person that probably met you was probably Eli, our homie Elias. But oh, yeah. besides that, like, I think it was just like mutual, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't nothing crazy. Could you give like a brief like description to like our listeners, like what you do exactly or like who you are? Um, <clears throat> what don't I do? I feel like <laughs> uh, I do a lot of things. I love to cook. Yeah. I actually started that out of spite. I had an ex boyfriend that was like, uh, I wish you could cook. Damn. And I was like, what? He's like, oh, this girl could cook so what good. You can't. And I was like, That's okay. Crazy. So I broke up with him and then I learned how to cook. No, yeah, your story is always <laughs> making me hungry. Like, everything you cook is fine. So you weren't cooking. Like, you were, co- I know you had to be cooking. No, I didn't know it. how to cook anything. Oh. My dad was the cook and my mom too, but like, he would always tell me, like, don't worry about it. One day you'll find a guy that will cook for you. You don't have to learn how to cook. You're fine. <laughs> and I was like, okay. You know, so I literally learned how to do it out of spite, which I'm grateful. Um, I cook. I'm an athlete all around. Um, obviously, you guys know I ran for a few brands. I ran the marathon twice. Whoa. No training. I, I don't know why I did that to myself. Square the Chicago Marathon? Yes. Where we'll I'm, running the marathon. Yeah, I'm running yeah. the marathon. Though. I decided to do it. This year? Yeah. yeah. Please train. Are you doing it? <laughs> oh my god! Are you doing it? I don't know. See, everybody who ran the marathon like the they last five it? years in a row, now they say, "No, nah, we don't want to. We ain't doing it." I swear, I've asked like five, like four or five people. Yeah, they all like, "I don't know." I'm like, "Damn, this is the year you decide not to do it when I'm doing it." Look, my thing is. I never ran more than six miles until the day of the Chicago Marathon. You know, you know how many miles I ran? <laughs> so that's 26, right? 26.2. So point two, that point two. Right? Three, the point two. Damn near four miles. But I haven't ran a mile since like high school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't run at all. Like yeah. nothing. It's honestly an incredible experience. I always say like, I think everyone from Chicago should run that. Wow. It is amazing. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, like uh, it's it's incredible. What honestly. made you sign up? Um, honestly, after my mom passed away, I needed something to make me like feel alive again. Mm. Yeah, it was it was like randomly one day I woke up and I just sprinted full speed down the block. You, you consider yourself a runner before this or not? No, uh, I hated okay. running actually. Oh, nice. I did not like it. I was like, I don't, I don't want to do that. I just want to play football, play volleyball, softball, mm. and call it. You know. Um, I tried soccer and I couldn't run all, the whole time. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this. Um, <clears throat> but once I did that, I started running like on the lakefront. And then I started feeling like, oh, this is this is nice. This is mm-hmm. a nice little workout, whatever. But um, a buddy of mine actually reached out to me with a bib. And he was like, would you want to run it? What's a bib? A bib is um, oh, the you number have to that wear you get. It? Yeah. Oh, okay. so, uh, it's like a sponsored thing? or. Well, no, every mar- every marathon runner has to wear one because that's mm-hmm. how you're tracked. Do you remember your number? No, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I still have either. my bib, though. Well, it's going to be a long-ass number, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I still I, have, like, yeah. seven of them shits on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was crazy. And it was, like, in the fast-paced group, but I didn't know mm. that. And I remember I got there, and I'm like, what's 26.2? They're like, that's the amount of miles you're running right now. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> And Damn, they're like, yeah, crazy. I was like, no way. And then I ran it. Wow. Got my medal. And then I was like, I got to do that again. Damn. That's awesome. Damn, now you got to do it for the third time. You That's know crazy. what? I wouldn't mind it. I took last year off because I hurt my knee so bad mm-hmm. in the second one. And I was just like, I'm in pain. Oh, no. My, I can't. During that run, you probably think about a lot of stuff, right? It's yeah. Like, it's so long. There's just, a lot of moments like you cry. You want to give up. <laughs> But. I cried a lot. Yeah. A lot. It, it's just, yeah. it's it's different. And then you see. I know it's more mentally than anything. But um, I feel like I saw it. I just kept seeing it. I just kept seeing it. Like, even working with Nike. And I'm like, all right, like, I can do this. Like, fuck it. But I'm seeing dudes I know who did not train. Like, old ass men. Like, not older men, but middle aged men. Uh-huh. I'm like, yo, I'm seeing these motherfuckers. Run. I'm like, I know you didn't you train for this. That, but <laughs> but bro, like, if you've seen it, they're like, you could, it's like dads out there, bro. But like. That's who you know, like I'm a dad. You ain't, nah, but I'm saying like <laughs> that means you I'm gotta saying, run it. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying like middle age. That's who you know, like yo, you did not do a day of training for this shit. Mm. Well, there was this guy who had like no legs, and he had. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that's crazy. How do you run with that? But it is people, it's people he had, in wheelchairs. Like, um, it's just like that. Uh, okay. I, I don't know what they're called. Like like the bike. No, something for their legs, but they're like. I, I don't know what they were. I can't even describe. I just remember yeah. it was like a Cat Williams skit where he was like, "Poor little Tink Tink," and it was like, "You guys know what I'm talking about?" <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it was like the metal legs, right? But yeah. the prosthetic legs or whatever. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, he canceled. ran the whole thing. Damn. And I kept pace with him. 
because I was like, that'll keep me motivated to finish because mm. I wanted to give up so bad. Mm. It's, yeah, it's gonna be incredible. I don't know. I'm You're gonna, gonna love it. I feel like I'm gonna feel. <laughs> I feel like people tell me so many things. Like, I feel like this person who ran it will tell me this. This person ran it. I'm just like, yeah. yeah I just don't know what to expect anymore because I've heard the the worst parts. I've heard like some of the best parts. Yeah. I'm just like, yo, I just want to like okay. make it through. Do you have any advice you can give? Right off the bat, train. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I could not walk for a week. Like it was oh, bad. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't even walk my dog. It was horrible. But uh, train for sure. Um, get that playlist ready. Mm. It's a long, <laughs> long time. Charge your headphones. Damn, that's like the as long as my flight probably. Literally, I mean, it took me my first run sixteen or six hours thirteen minutes. Damn, I want to do four. And that sounds good lie. still. Oh my gosh, it, yeah. was, it was so hard. My goal hard. is to, a long to time. finish before they yeah. start sweeping the streets. Like, that's, what, that's all I want. I'm like, Yo, as long as like I finish before these last motherfuckers finish, I'm yeah. like, I'm cool with that. But four hours and thirty minutes is mm-hmm. like what I what I said. So yeah. how long do AirPods last? Mine, Shit, not mine that lasted long. decent. I I I would alternate one, let that die, oh, and then the fine. other, let that die. You then... gotta bring like a battery pack. <laughs> bring <laughs> two. Bring, bring two pairs. Right, right. <laughs> pair <of> <laughs> yeah. Um, another thing. Make sure your breakfast is light, but like take a dump before you start running. Oh shit! Oh, yes. hey. you know, I was I was telling them people pee while they run. Oh, I've seen people pee themselves. Yeah. I've seen people shit no. themselves. No, no, no. I was Just like, see, damn. At that point, it's like, yo, I'm gonna finish, but hold on, let me go, let me go find somewhere. I'll to run go. to the port of potty. I'll be right work. back. Yeah, yeah, literally, be right back. I could, I don't, I'm sure I couldn't even sit down. I feel like if I sat down, I, that day I couldn't want to be able to get back up. Oh my gosh, yeah, bubble guts are real out there. Oh, for sure. But you know, I went out like. I feel like being an athlete in high school, like even like when I wrestled, I always got bubble guts. Even like I was be wrestling from <laughs> I would be wrestling, I mean wrestling from third grade to like the end of high school is like, yo, like no matter how many years I did it, like the first match I always had, like I'm always like Yeah. You know what I mean? But I feel like it was always like more of like um a nervous thing. Like yeah, but excited too. Just like um, anxious to get it out the anxious. way. Anxious. It's but not anxiety. but not like yeah, but I feel like usually before any big thing in my life is like, yo, I have that feeling of yeah. you know, rumbling. A little bit. <laughs> do you remember what shoes you wore, or do you have any like suggestions on shoes? Um, honestly, I really love Brooks. Mm. A nice running shoe with a lot of cushion. I ran with the Nike. I believe they're the Pegasus. Ooh, I don't know. I got flat and wide feet. Honestly, <laughs> I got, I got, I got like chubby lady feet. Yeah, they're cute though. You no, know? I like, I like, I love the Pegasus. It's like, I but just don't know. Nike, like, I love Nike. Shout out to them. They gave me so many incredible opportunities. Uh, but. Maybe it was my lack of training, actually. I don't think it was a shoe. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would definitely get something with a little bit more uh, cushion in it and break them in. Okay. For sure, break them in. Do not break them in that day. Oh, my God. I like to be fresh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> fresh out the box. No, for real. Fucking yeah. fresh feet. I'm gonna, my feet going to be falling off. Damn, oh, my toenail fall off. Did it really? My toenails oh. fall off. No, the, the last worst, one. The worst part I heard about it was the, the chafing. And I didn't like the that. nipples. Yeah, I didn't like like. I wore leggings too. Yeah. I got thighs. I'm not. I'm not trying to be hurting right yeah. now. Yeah, that's oh, enough. That's like it's funny. like I, I don't know. It just reminds me of the the office episode where Andy like started bleeding. <laughs> and I'm just like, damn. But I'm like, can that happen? I'm asking people. Like, Do you think that can happen to black people? Like I'm dead ass. I'm like, but it's, it's certain things that it's like, yo, I've never seen no like. I've never heard of no black person chafing before. Like they nipples bleeding when they was running. I don't think I'm just saying, that I, haven't heard, I haven't heard it. Now, if you have, I'm sure it's a runner's thing. I mean, it's, it's happened thing. to me before. Yeah, like, it's like, I'm ah. brown, the fuck? Yeah, I know. It's just like, ah. Oh, I was it's gonna, hope, it's, gonna it's like when COVID first came around, they say black people can't get it. And I was like, yo, you're right. Black people can't get that. And I got it. And I told all my homies, <laughs> yo. <Yeah. laughs> I told all my homies, like, yo, I'm the, your example. I it's got like COVID. saying black people can't get sunburn. Yeah, it's a thing, right? No, but we, you can. You can. I mean, right? it's like always wear sunscreen anyway. <laughs> yeah, you always wear sunscreen anyway. Skincare. I've been, yeah, tip I've, I've been very number one. We just came from Credo. Just came from Credo. Got my shit right. You know mm. what I'm saying? So the, the the sunblock is always needed. You know, always mm. everyone 100. percent I thought black people were, were were free from that one, but I guess we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Not free from all forms of slavery. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> um, you brought up uh, working with Nike. You've uh-huh. also worked with like big companies like Patreon, uh, Patron. And, yes. Like I saw you. You posted a picture with HBO, like Max or something. Yes. Yeah. How do you like? I guess 
find yourself in these deals or do you go out looking for them or they kind of reach out to you? No, they come to me. That's awesome. I, which I like because I feel social media is so weird now. Mm-hmm. Like people base their whole personality off of their social media. Whereas like for me, I'm just authentic. So the fact that brands still reach out and still want to work with me, I'm like, okay, that's cool because I get to be myself. Um, I worked with Don Julio. I did that with Scent Rock and oh, nice. um, Aztec Dave's. It was like a collab. It was actually really cool. Scent Rock had painted their truck, their food truck. And uh, it was like this huge little, like huge little. It was this event. Uh, a lot of the homies came through. Um, I worked with Patron. We, I cooked for their Friendsgiving, mm. like a little Friendsgiving shoot that we had, which was cute. Because I never really showcased my food like that yet. So it was mm-hmm. like my first step into really feeling comfortable with cooking for people I don't know. That's awesome. Yeah. And then with HBO, they just brought us out to Sueños and, you know, we were involved in their tent and stuff. It was really cool. It was neat. But yeah. I think for a while you were pushing to be like a like featured as a chef on something. Like it was a competition. Yeah. Like people were voting, right? Yeah. So Carla Hall, she was top chef. Um, she does like soul food cooking. Mm. Um, so she was at Cooper's Hawk one day, which I've been a member there forever. Shout out wine. But oh. yeah, so she's I've did... been there once. I didn't like the waiter, but it has nothing uh, to do with Cooper. Uh, uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, relax. <laughs> the waiter relax. was being like obnoxious. Like <laughs> Okay, okay. As long as it's not the quality of what they offer, then nah, okay. the the presentation is fire the way that they presented the wine. Yeah, so she had did <laughs> I'm like, don't don't talk smack about my favorite place. <laughs> no, but Carlo Hall did a pop up at Esquire in downtown Chicago. So mm. Esquire was like the upscale Cooper's Hawk. Um, and it was delicious. They had invited me out and uh, I got her cookbook and stuff. But she put out this contest where whoever can raise the most money, um, that money goes into a fund to help people of color uh, go to culinary school. Mm-hmm. Wow. Which was really cool. Every single one of my friends donated. And I was like, wow. I was up there. I was, I think, second place. But I was salty, so I didn't post anything. (laughs) (laughs) So would you, are you, like, would you, like, be trying to get your own, like, restaurant or, like, own, like, thing one day? So right now I'm actually, excuse me, working on writing my own cookbook. Wow. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah, which is actually really hard because... When I cook, I just look at stuff and I just throw things in there and I just kind of do whatever. I don't measure things. I eyeball everything. So when people are like, hey, can you tell me that recipe? I'm like, oh, (laughs) give me like a day. (laughs) I don't know. I got to figure that out. Is that normal? Like for cooks? I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if you look at your mom cook. Yeah. Just she, doesn't, she doesn't yeah. pull out yeah. a tablespoon. Like, she's just going to throw it in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did it once for a friend who wanted a certain recipe. So I, like, put it down in my notepad. And then I saved it. And then I did it for another, like, eight. And then I, every recipe I just started documenting. So then I'm like, why am I just holding on to this when people ask me all the time? So right now I'm just working on content and getting the professional side of things. And then I have to go into like a publisher and where I want to release the book and how I'm going to do it. So so what do you think the, has the hardest part been like actually the recipes and like you saying, oh, this is a tea, like a tablespoon of this mm-hmm. or, has it, or has it been like the other stuff as far as like trying to figure out how to publish things or like shit like that? I, I think the hardest part right now is again, measurements just because not everyone can eyeball cook. Mm-hmm. And if someone doesn't know how to cook, I want them to look at my recipe and be like, this is simple, but it's delicious, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and, yeah, I just want it to be able to be made by anybody, not someone that's, like, trying to be a chef. I'm going to definitely need that because yeah. I feel like yeah. I can cook yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask about that because I barely cook at all. <laughs> but I want to. And sometimes, like, I even I, I even dream about cooking. Cause I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking cook this and put this together. Mm. Cause like, yeah, I don't know. I I watch a lot of cooking shows and I I watch a lot of people cook on YouTube. And I'm like looking at how they cut onions right mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. But how do you? I guess what kind of advice could you give someone to just like start cooking? Cause yeah. it's it's kind of daunting sometimes. Cause I'm just like, damn, I gotta <laughs> go find this shit at the grocery store, and I don't know if it's the right ingredient, and then. I get it all. And then sometimes you cook it for an hour and you're just like, damn, it didn't even taste it good. It takes so long, bro. It takes yeah. so much yeah. longer to cook it than yeah. to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I always say start with the basics. Mm. 
Uh, basics Eggs. meaning learn how to cook rice first. Oh, okay. Learn how to, like, what's your favorite food? I like everything. Everything? <laughs> okay, so, like, let's say you wanted to make shrimp tacos one day with rice, right? Yeah. You Once you learn how to cook rice properly, you could cook that for the rest of your life. Mm. After that, cooking shrimp and not overcooking it. Everything's about timing. So it's like one at a time. And it's it's a lot quicker than you think. Mm. Mm. I, I've been thinking of making i want to i want to make this japanese curry and i know it's easy because i've seen people do it you mm-hmm. just put the cubes in there but, but it's still kind of like oh shit like how do i you know don't overthink it okay yeah yeah. don't overthink it and taste it as you go right see that's what i don't do and i always say under salt rather than over salt things mm. because okay. you can always add it mm. but you can't take it out hell no <laughs> okay yeah, so yeah, like yeah. i've had food where i'm like wow i i I'm gonna get super bloated after this from mm. so like all the salt and stuff. But yeah, I, I just say wing it, have fun with it. Cooking's like an art. I've yeah, never been a sure. creative, right? Mm-hmm. But I always say food is my art. Yeah, Definitely so you can say you create. Now that, I am. Now yes. Yeah, I feel like it's so funny when people say shit like that, or they like because everybody's creative in their own way, whether you right. know it or not. Right? It's things mm-hmm. that people can do or like talents people have that, like yo, this person that can do this, but I can't do this, or maybe I just haven't unlocked it, but uh. That shit is like to enjoy cooking. Like most of the time, like you can make like, this big ass meal, right? And after you make this meal, you're like, I'm not even hungry for real. Like you just like to see people eat it. That's me. Or like even like <laughs> plating, plating, like presentation, like all yes. that shit is art form. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I mean, watching the look, and I already seen. I used to watch cooking shows with my aunt a lot of like all the time. I used to like she used to her favorite was Emerald, so I used to watch Emerald all the time. And like um like early food like network like fucking Rachel Ray forty dollars a day when you can buy yes. things for forty dollars a day you can mm-hmm. buy three meals for forty dollars a day yeah when the economy was decent were mm-hmm. you like a fan of cooking shows too I was nice. I would watch them all the time especially when I was at the orthodontist in the waiting room they'd always have them up there and I'd be like I should start watching this more <laughs> and then I started watching Emerald he's mm-hmm. OG um I love Gordon Ramsay I love mm-hmm. his attitude. And I love like how he shows you the basics of everything. He could show you how to cook a steak in five minutes and it'll take you five minutes. And I think that's awesome. So when I was like, oh, he makes it look so easy. I could do that. I didn't I didn't really get him until uh, I got older. And I'm like, you know what? Like you need that shit is serious. Mm-hmm. Like food is such a serious thing. Like allergies, like people could die off this shit. Yeah. Like anything. And it's like, yo, you need to yell at the motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm like, I understand, bro. <laughs> like I used to be like, damn, he's kind of a dick, but I'm like, yo, you know. That shit is necessary because people yeah. have like all the types of shit in their freezer. I don't know. Even when you watch those shows, it's like fuck, like these restaurants are fucked up, and you'll never oh know. God. Like sitting in front of them, oh, you'll yeah. never know how it looks in the back. You know. Yeah. But I'll still eat there. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if that shit is hidden, it's hidden. But it's like I guess you don't yeah. know until like you see it, and you're just like fuck, dude. Sometimes like, I'm like, I don't even want to know what's going on back there, but it's fire. <laughs> when no. it comes to like, uh, you said you recorded your own. Well, you were showing off the the fry ca- the fryer. The, mm-hmm, the air fryer. The air fryer. Mm-hmm. Do you go out to like, you reach out to people to re- record that for you, or do you do it yourself, like the content? So typically, I would do it by myself. Okay. Uh, but this time, I just thought it was a great opportunity to kind of get started on taking my cooking a little bit more seriously. Mm-hmm. So I hit up my girl Bianca, Bianca Garcia. Shout out B. Uh, she's one of my favorite. Uh, she catches a photo so well. And she even brought it up to me like, hey, we need to shoot more of your stuff. Like, because I cook for her, too. And she's just like, dude, like, you could have yeah, we could have okay. posted this uh, or something. Okay. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even think about it. Uh, so she caught the footage for me. And like the way she would like maneuver the camera and all these things. I'm like, I would have never done that. <laughs> I would have just taken a pic and been like, this is it. You know, so she's the one that's been helping me more and pushing me more to do it. So I'm grateful for that, too. That's really cool. Yeah. But I always think about that. Like, it's more than just cooking. Like, there's a whole business side to it. And just, like, mm-hmm. asking people for help, it's, like, important, too. To, like, I think that's a really good lesson to bring up, too, is learning how to ask for help when you need it. Yeah. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Just do it. I feel like that should be easier said than done, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you it could, was a hard say, lesson like, for yes, me. Do it. I feel like, for me, I'm still learning that every day. Yeah. And asking I feel like I've had, so many, and I've had so many good examples of just ask, not even for help, but just asking. Mm-hmm. Or, like, if... if I mean, just being very, like, prideful, you just be like, all right, like, I can do this all myself. I want to do it all. But, like, in reality, like, you be meeting so many people, like, the meeting meeting people be, like, the the 
be the reward for you like you know what i'm saying like it's like, like trying and like because yeah. you never know who can help you and you never know who like wants to help you or like who will yeah. be willing to help you you know what i'm saying for like yeah. nothing what's the what's the saying closed mouths don't get fed not at all i believe that 100 percent, and i think my pride would get in the way of that but then once i started asking for help and i had people like just help me throughout this entire journey after my mom passing i was like man i'm grateful i learned that because it's hard out here you can't, you can't always do it by yourself. Some people could, though. Kudos to them, but not not me, yeah. you know? And yeah. that's okay. I think it just takes, like, it's that separation of, like, knowing you need, like, knowing I need help without, like, like forcing it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. or, like making asking yourself for help like also that. helps the person, too, like, whoever you're asking, too, because now both of you have content that you could share on both of your platforms. Yeah. So it's, like, especially with, like, the collaboration shit on Instagram. Yeah. Like, now both of you have, like, something to show and... More people are probably gonna hit up Bianca right after this too. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I wanted to ask, like, do you want your own cooking show as well? I do. I actually want. I have like this crazy idea. Um, I feel like a cooking show would be dope, but I kind of want it more YouTube based, just because it's like yeah. user friendly and anyone can access it. Yeah, but I want like music <laughs> involved, and I want to like cook for my the homies mm. and just have us all like chilling and talking. But I want you to see the process of me getting there. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, do you have a name for it yet? No. Nah. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I have, we like, know. We this is, this, is, a, this so is a manifest. This is a manifestation. All right, let's okay. manifest it. I, 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 I want to call it so you think you can cook. Mm. And then when you pull it up, I'm like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to try too hard. I want it to be fun. I want it to be real. I want it to be, like, authentic. Like, let's just have a good time. Yeah. But good-ass music in the background. That's key for me. Mm-hmm. Right, for sure. it's like food really brings people together right and mm-hmm. so we do we tried to we went to a sushi place once and we recorded it and we're trying to like do more <laughs> like food reviews and stuff but i feel like it food. just makes the room stop it's like a, um it's like you have something good you're just like damn like yeah and you just be thinking about like i feel like even when i went to tusco like is that my, am i pronouncing it right to tusco zuko or Tuzuka. chuko something yeah. like that carlos that is, a, is a chef no for Gigi. Oh, okay. But no, we went to a a kinda, but they're not even opening it. They're not even opening. <laughs> it. That's how you said it, a kinda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that but, place with the dessert you're talking about that one time. Yeah, yo, that shit was so good. Literally, I have been thinking about that shit since I left. Like, I, I've been thinking. About I would that eat sometimes. that shit every I day. I, you know, I, I feel like even like I feel like I had um barbacoa there and that shit was so tender like that shit just fell off the bone that restaurant's like, phenomenal yeah i have not like i've been thinking about that meal since i've had it in july like Look, last july get the snapper oh you know what i'm not the craziest about fish oh <laughs> my god i'm not the, crazy, I'm not the craziest fish, about fish I, I like shit i'm a boo- I'm you're talking slight about bougie. you said Tusco? i know it's they they, they it's t-z-u-c-o they be, but they be I crawling believe. the ground i fuck with shellfish i like shellfish the so, most i'll probably eat is like salmon or like uh, my salmon is to die for. I <laughs> didn't eat seafood until four years ago. Mm-hmm. Well, I was like, let me just try. Because I feel like when I was a kid, they would force me to eat octopus. And I'm a texture person. Yeah. I can't eat octopus, dude. You don't like it now either? That's how I felt the No, I can't. Though. Fried calamari, maybe. Not the one with the tentacles the on legs. it, though. That's crazy. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no. Um, but, I mean... Oh no, I can't. There was a texture thing, but now I love seafood. I feel like it was yeah. the opposite of me. Like my people are from Louisiana, so like all we had is fish fries, and I'm like, I'm eating it, but I'm like, like my grandma made good ass salmon, like like croquettes, but them shits taste like chicken though. They ain't taste like mm. salmon. So I feel like like back then I used to eat so much catfish, so much fucking shit, and like I and I don't hate catfish, but I'm just like yo, like I don't I don't really like it too much either. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that, but just yeah. like. Fish for I just feel like fish has always been like forest on me. Okay. I'm, like, I'm not really I would never go to a restaurant and be like, let me get the let me get the fish with the head on it. You know what I'm it's saying? Not really <laughs> the, it's not really a fish, it's like the trauma that comes with it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, I don't want to flashback when I eat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe type yeah. shit, but yeah, I don't know. Like the fish with the I'll be throwing off other shit. People be like, I just saw a girl post it. She's like, Oh my god, this is I had to get this shit two days in a row. This is the best meal. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the face on it. <laughs> No, that red snapper there is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. I like fish. You like fish? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, like I mean, fish. I I grew up eating all sorts of shit that I didn't even know what it was. Mm. 
You're like, oh, it's good though. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like octopus, love it. I can't. I'll eat that shit. Oh god. I'll get all the tentacles. We like like I clam, eat like clams, and like oysters, <laughs> oysters, <laughs> like oysters. I, yeah. yeah. What if you're on a cooking like challenge show and they make you like cook with octopus? Look, I could cook with anything. Okay. Mm. Okay, anything. You just won't Will try I it. eat it? <laughs> Probably not, always. Just because, like, octopus, I cannot. But I also don't eat dairy mm. by choice. Like, I'll eat pizza once in a while um, here and there. And I'm not lactose or nothing. I just don't like it. Dairy is a wide, like, you don't work with any cheese? I work with a lot like of dairy. Your yogurt? Or like yeah, I, I like Greek yogurt, um, like, Heavy whipping cream. I use all that stuff. Like, I'll sometimes dip into it, but like, would I happily eat cheese? No, I'm Damn, not. Damn, macaroni mm-hmm. and cheese too? No, oh. dude, oh. I can't. Oh. But Nacho I make cheese. I make great mac and cheese. Ooh. I'm the Thanksgiving queen. Damn. And, I'll say, and you say that with comedy. You looked at me in my eyes. I said, I believe you. I said, believe this. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I believe that wholeheartedly. I'm not going to lie to you. Like. Yeah. So what's your favorite thing? What would you say your favorite thing is to prepare or like to even like make your friends or like? Oh, man, that's hard. Anything and everything. Uh, I think my signature is my pozole. Mm. Wow. What is Green that? or red? Green or red? Both. Okay. But the red is preferred. Uh, it's like a Mexican stew. Mm. They uh, You use hominy <clears throat> and then uh, either pork or chicken. And it's chile based, so it's red or green or white. Mm. And um, you use toppings and like salsa and peppers just to like make it yours. Mm. And it's so versatile, which I love because you can make it your own regardless. Is that in your book? Yeah. Yeah, That's fine. Yeah, not my salsa though. That's a secret. (laughs) (laughs) That's the key. But yeah, pozole is amazing. You never had pozole? I don't think so. Dang. You need more Mexican friends. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah it's okay. I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you on. <laughs> um, damn. I'm getting kind of hungry, guys. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> it's snack time, baby. Time. Well, let's go. <laughs> All right, so this is a segment where we rate a snack from one to ten. Okay. I found these because it's kind of like Valentine's Day, kind of. Oh, that's cute. Um, but it's kind of like the worst... Cause I feel like you're a chef. You have oh, like yeah, high standards. Like as, as, uh, <laughs> Nobody's too good for a fifty cent cake. <laughs> That's fact. <laughs> What's well, crazy? I'm not a sweets girl. You're not. Really? I'm a salty snack girl. Mm, thank you. I wish I had a, a different snack. But no, I'm excited for this. It? Here, I'll pass this down. Oh, they're tiny. Thank you. Yeah, they definitely shrunk these bitches. Yeah. Like they used to be like <laughs> like the whole packet. Or maybe our hands are smaller. Maybe our hands are smaller. Okay. Uh, no. Nah, it's the, it's the bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's like potato chips where you open and half Fact, the bag's half gone. The bag. Yo, so, you could go to a store with a dollar and get nothing. Four <laughs> bags of potato chips. No. Yeah, like back then, oh, you back get four then, bags yeah. of potato chips. You can get shit, two bags of candy, some juice. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mixed options. Yeah. Now, shit, that dollar ain't getting you nowhere. Dollar will get you a napkin. The, legit. <laughs> A dollar, they not even like even for the blunts. Them shits is them bitches ain't even a dollar no more. For Dude, real. even at Arizona isn't a dollar no more. Sometimes really, yeah. depending on where you go, because they be they not supposed Dude. to change the price on them Arizonas. A they kids do. meal is like seven dollars. Oh yeah, like what? A kids meal for like McDonald's and shit. Oh my god, so hash impressed. browns are like three ninety nine. Yeah, which is still yeah, a hit. But we don't though. go to yeah. McDonald's no yeah, more. I know, yeah. I know the hash browns. <laughs> All right, you can't say the hash browns are good. I know they ain't good for you. Tell my son that because he loves McDonald's. <laughs> I tried to tell him, like, there's a whole thing going on. Yeah. All right, let's try these. Three, let me take my two, girl out. <laughs> Damn. These uh-huh. are called ding dongs. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Right. I feel ho-hos. like they're all like the same. Like, it's like three of these, that, but they all like have different names. Yeah, I thought these were ho hos. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Ho hos is the, the circular ones. Mm. Those are like the sweetest rolls. Aren't the, they like the, the swirly the, ones? Yeah. Swirly. Yeah, it's mm. cool. That's all right. Yeah, it's like, you know what? Should we do some ASMR? <laughs> We do this. You guys want to hear me bite this? <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> now we get our viewership up. <laughs> I was so happy today. I'm gonna feel like we had a lot of questions coming. <laughs> we had a lot of questions coming. Probably like, yeah, they might be interested. In, like, they, you know, what did you say? You say like, might be like. I'm trying um, to get your attention or something. Yeah, just, I probably, said engagement. Yeah, yeah. it was a good engagement sale. It was a good engagement sale. I like I like a little problematic stuff, you know? Mm. 
That's why I had to ask him, like, what don't we talk about today? Because like, I don't want to, like... But then you say, yo, fuck it, anything, like, everything. I don't care. I have no filter for what? Well, I feel like I got to ask this just because... So, Black Ink, you're on <laughs> reality TV show. It's a pretty big, like... <laughs> Black Ink Chicago. It's a tattooing? Yeah. It's a oh. tattoo mm -hmm. reality TV show oh, God. in Chicago. <laughs> take <God>. take sip. <laughs> <laughs> But you were the first person I knew, like, do a real life who was on, like... Yeah, like, made it real. It was like, I actually, like, know this girl on TV. Yeah, my God. I only tuned in for you. But can I actually get another one? Good. Oh, my God. How Good that, times. How's that experience? Are you like... Uh, wait, did we rate the ding-dongs or uh, what? Oh, no, we didn't. I gave it a seven. No, six, sorry. I'll give it a... S for the... For the qual... For, like, what it hosts ding-dong. Solid seven and a half. Mm -hmm. I'll say the same. It's an eight, seven, eight. Eight, it's, baby. It's Valentine's Day, Mr. February. <laughs> Thank you, know, you for keeping us on track. Heart, <laughs> <laughs> um, what was your question again? How was the experience? Yeah, I guess just like being on reality TV show. Like it's so Wait, so you're a tattoo us. artist too? No, I just uh, get them. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I got my whole arm done. I got oh, a tram wow. stamp, what, two years ago? Mm. Love it. Um, <laughs> it was very interesting. Mm. It, it's not obviously not real. Is there like I things mean, you can't talk about? No, I can talk about anything. Okay. I'm not on there I know no that more. fucking fight was real though. Oh yeah, dude. I got, I got, we got banned from Jamaica for like God I think damn. a year after Whoa. that. That's fire. I ain't gonna what lie. Is yeah. So <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, so, that's, that's, that's can decent. you tell Jason what happened? Just yeah. Like, so um, uh, long story short. I was with someone that was on the show. Mm. I didn't know he was on the show until I had him on social media after. And mm. um, he was like, hey, um, they want you to like come to Jamaica or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, fine, I'll go, whatever. So it turns out certain people didn't know we were going to show up. Um, an old fling of his was going to be there. And she was talking smack about me on social media like crazy. Yeah. And I was like, who is this girl? She like posted a picture of me and like was talking smack. And I was like, Whoa. I don't old even Twitter. know who this is. Yeah, that yo, old Twitter was wrong. <laughs> that shit is still ruthless. But yeah. Like, yo, like, that shit is crazy. So I went on Instagram and my my notifications were crazy. And I'm like, what is going on? So we go to Jamaica and um, immediately on set with everything right away. What do you guys want to drink? You guys need anything? Like drugs and whatever. Wow. Ooh, I'd have mm -hmm. been, well, what do you have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> Options, all right. Yeah. Anything? So they would get you anything just to get you loosened up um. and they would they would want drama. Um so on the way to this street party in Jamaica, uh we all show up and right away people were talking smack. I don't know about y'all, I'm from the south side of Chicago. <laughs> 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 okay. I don't talk much. I just do things, yeah, and uh, I had real. told I had yeah. told production too. I was like, I don't know if y'all want me on there. They're like, why? I'm like, cause your drama is like very set up, mm -hmm. where people can become reactive and things like that. But I catch it quick, and it's over with. So this girl had ran up, threw a drink, tried to throw a drink at my partner. So it was a wrap, and that's that. Her, and her <laughs> well, her, her and her girl got it. So. Yeah. Uh yeah. And that that was like recorded and everything? The whole fight. Yeah, oh uh, wow. The yeah. can man. Anybody yeah. can get it on bro. Anybody yeah. can get it on bro, yeah, for sure. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was that, that was a crazy time. Um Is there I, anything you learned from that experience? Or like Honestly, yeah. I was I was so naive and mm. very young and immature. I didn't I didn't really know what was happening. I just felt like they purposely would try to set me up to get into altercations and I would react. So I'm like, damn, they got me, mm -hmm. you know, and like the check was nice, but that's it's embarrassing. Sometimes. Is that was that on VH1 or? Yeah, on it was TV? on VH1. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I've had people tell me like <laughs> my cousin's husband. He was like, I, I was watching YouTube at work one day, and I saw your ass up there getting rowdy. I was like, oh. <laughs> what a great word to describe yeah. like so rowdy. many different things. Yeah. It's like, yo, this could be anything. Yeah, yeah. so I was just like, oh goodness. Yeah. Um, I don't regret anything I do though. That's cool. Um, yeah. It was a good time. I had fun. Oh, yeah. I proved a point. Yeah. Period. <laughs> because people, I feel like people forget you can't just talk smack to just anybody. That's every day. And yeah. I had to show that on. 
television, I yeah. guess. But. Yeah, because they think that behind cameras, like they could do whatever they want, probably. Yeah, yeah literally. Mm -hmm. um, Te team cancer. Let's so go. what happens when like <laughs> the, so what happens when like the cameras stop rolling? Like oh, we're, I'm still pissed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody's saying cut. All right, so we're like mo mo most of the time, uh, we, like we would get in the car. They would get us a car and take us out of there, um, or you know, we would decide to leave. Or I mean, it wasn't always chaotic. But there, most of it was, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, but I mean, when the cameras were off, like all of us were cool, like everyone was fine, except mm -hmm. obviously whoever fought. Uh, a lot of it was fighting. It wasn't really about tattooing at a point where it was just like, what is the point of this? And why am I a part of it? Mm -hmm. you know? Bro, it's not like Ink Master. It's like nah, the drama yeah. oh, behind. <laughs> see, that's what I was thinking about. I was thinking about that show. No, and I was no. like, Ink Master is actually about the art. I feel like. Yeah, Ink Master is like, wow, tattooing, challenging. But um, I mean, it was a great experience. I met a lot of amazing and ma mm. amazing people. And I gained a lot of my following from that. So I took mm. advantage of it. And I just started using it to my own benefit. Do you ever think like working with these brands like Nike or Patron, like would that impact you in a negative way in the future? Like if they pull up the old stuff or not really? No. No, right. no. I mean, if you, if you, I, I hate to say it like this, but if you were to Google me, I think that's the first thing that comes <laughs> up, which is embarrassing. <laughs> but, uh, I'm sure they know like who they're working with, and that's cool. I yeah. mean, it, it's it's there, so either you work with me or not, it doesn't really bother me. Nice. I feel like uh, you can't think about that shit too much sometimes, like depending on what you're doing. I mean, because it's all learning lessons. Because if you said like you say you're young, yeah, and it's just like you do like I mean, we all do like crazy shit when we're young too. So it's just like. What you yeah. do and what you learn from it, but For sure. you can't really worry about like in the moment you be like, oh, this is gonna be this or like who nobody's gonna work with me because if you're good, I feel like if your business is already straight, then you already got the advantage on like everybody. You know what I'm saying? So even if you did this like whatever like ten years ago, it's like as long as I'm doing what I'm doing now and like you see that it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're you're building something. But everybody's a kid. Everybody does dumb shit. Like, hey, we've all been there. Yeah, for I sure. I have no regrets, and I and I tell people all the time too. Like, oh and my you god, want, you want to? Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you get that W. It's like, what, what are we regretting? You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> Good times, guys. Good times. <laughs> um. So apparently, Drake dropped like a nude or something. A Did nude? you guys hear about that? A nude? Yeah. Oh. It's like pretty popular right now. I've been, I mean, you know what? I've actually been. Like, I didn't want that. Nah, I, 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 I haven't looked it up or nothing. I was just looking up. You guys look it up. Really? Yeah. Look it up. I mean, right hey, here. man, what, what are we talking about for? I just wanted to bring up stuff that's happening in your oh. home. I saw that shit for breakfast. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oh, so you did see Do you it. have, like, oh, yeah, a group chat like, with, like, no, girlfriends and I, stuff? I saw it, like, my eye was halfway open, like, barely waking up. And like I looked at Twitter, and it was literally the first tweet on my timeline. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. I was like, "Who is that?" Damn! And then <laughs> <laughs> I like pulled up the photo or the video, and I was like, "Oh, oh, that's Drake." That's Wait, so what? Funny. What? What was it? Like, who was he sending it to? Like, what was it? I don't know who exposed it. I always oh. be thinking like it's like on purpose. I uh, think so like, too. Everything that like targeted and like. Especially him. Oh my god, yeah. he's such a diva. Yeah. <laughs> he really is. I mean, I love Drake music though. I can't even deny it. But so I don't funny. know. I saw that and I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> let me get up." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe not pull it. Yeah, up, maybe not. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Forget it. Um, <laughs> Do you guys not know what it was? Nah. Well, I this is my first time. I just kept it. seeing like really? ele elephant memes and shit. Like they were doing <laughs> like elephant like. Playing with their nose and shit. Okay, so he was like laying. On <laughs> <laughs> he was laying on his bed, like just holding his dick, and just oh. like waving it around in the mirror. What the That's fuck? so crazy. Maybe like, it's it's because it's uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Maybe. Oh, uh, maybe he's gonna drop a, a, another album. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. Um, another rapper, Twenty One Savage, was also. Um, Brought up for scamming Aiden Ross. Did you yeah, I saw that. that. Yeah, I just so saw that he ran right on Aiden, too. Aiden Ross's uh, stream or stream, yeah. and I think Aiden Ross like paid him. No, no, no. It was a game of cards. Yeah, and they they were marked. They were marked. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Like, if I was like Aiden Ross, maybe you should kind of suspect like like the I don't know that he would do something like that. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe mm. not. I wouldn't think so. It's so much money on the line. Oh, that's true. I think it was like four hundred fifty thousand or something. Something like that. 
I don't know. I think they look at him like a easy lick or something. And then. Like the streamers and stuff. Probably. No, because he wouldn't do that to Kai Sinat. It's just because he's white. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, he apologized though, no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like what actually happened though? Because I just thought they were just like. So they were betting money then, I'm assuming? Yeah. yeah. Oh. For this like card game. And I guess <clears throat> at the end of the game, uh, the cards were marked so he could win. Hmm. Um, that it's, sucks. Yeah. Because that's like your integrity. It's crazy to do that on like millions of kids just watching you too. Mm-hmm. I don't he know. He ain't know, y'all. He ain't know. Yeah. Ain't know y'all. <laughs> 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 that's crazy. But... Uh, when I went on Hawaii, I just went on this random like hike too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And I never felt the most out of shape in my life. Ooh. Like it was like a straight incline only, and like after ten steps, I was just like, <sighs> uh-huh. and like there was like old like Japanese grandmas just like <laughs> like passing me by and stuff. Yeah. Um. So you do fitness and you run. You've ran marathons and stuff. Yes. But without training, like how I don't know how how do you do it? Yeah. How can you get better? Well, I guess you didn't just train either either yeah. marathon that you did. Damn, that's, no. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm just I, trying to figure like how. Like, <laughs> I think it's like more like fucking up, like cramping up. It's like a discipline thing. Like you're trying to like prove it to yourself. I or? think so. I I think I I'm very big on mind over matter. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> um, anything you set your mind to, you could really do it. Okay. For sure. Everything else will follow, right? Yeah. So. I, I, I don't know, like running the marathon like that was actually insane and I do not recommend that. Mm. But the only thing I trained for was the half marathon because it was with the Nike Windrunners and they're insane. I love them. Um, but we did like a track routine, running miles every Saturday and I was just like, I hate this. <laughs> Yeah. So would you consider like yourself it. an athlete? Or one hundred percent, I could do anything. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. I can do anything. That's awesome. The only yeah. sport I can play is basketball. <laughs> Why do you think that? I is? can't. I can't dribble. I travel. Okay. I'll dribble <laughs> twice and then I just hold it and I run to the. To <laughs> but I could shoot, but I just can't. I don't know why I can't like grasp. The and concept. you in high school, you played volleyball. Yeah, I played volleyball, softball, uh, flag football, and then mm. I played tennis for fun. Soccer for fun, really anything. You just always been active, mm-hmm. super yeah. active. Well, my dad was an athlete and still is, wow. like my whole life. He was my coach Dude. in middle school, and if anyone listening has had a parent <laughs> coach your team, that changes everything, like your mindset, your athleticism, the discipline. So I carried that with me for the rest of my life. Team captain. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You've always been like a leader like that. Always, yeah. I like to take charge. I'm, I could be bossy when it comes to sports, but it's always worth it. You know. It's really cool. Depending on who's trying to win. I, I'm a sore win, loser. Like, oh, me too. I've always been terrible. I'm a sore loser. Terrible. I'm I sorry. love to compete, in like a healthy way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I lose on purpose to like get me going. <laughs> Really? Yeah. I just like playing. I feel like that first, like even Uno. I feel like we were playing Uno the other day. I'm like, fuck. Like, oh, yeah. You're definitely into it. Uh, like, Brighton came over. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. It was the big cars, too. So, I mean, just even play, starting off, I had like three cars left and I get like a job for him. And I'm like, fuck. Like, I was just trying to shit. talk like about life and he was so into the game. He's can, like, hold on. She doesn't sit well with me. So, like, especially like that. So, for Uno, do you, do you, I mean, you play Uno. You know, oh my you're, God. From, you're from I the city. I love Uno. So, do you. <laughs> it's a Chicago thing? Yeah, I mean, hey, okay. why not? Well, it gets, I feel like, I feel like maybe we take it. That's why I'm like, it's just different rules. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So. I say Uno and out when I got one car left. Yeah. I don't know what you do. You have to. I just say Uno. See? You hear yeah. that? Uno. You have to. That's the whole point of the game. Yeah. Because if you don't and I call you out, you got to draw no, two. No, no, He's. I say Uno, but he says well, that when you, when you hit the last card, you got to say Uno, Uno and, and out. out. Oh. I never heard of that. That's not a real thing? No. Nah. See? Girls and Girls and Girls Club taught me different. Mm. They taught me different. Maybe they was just, they, maybe they was just saucy. They was losing. Uno and out. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like. go. <laughs> I mean, now that we keep saying, it, I feel like somebody may have made that up. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. They want you to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's bogus. I grew, I grew up playing video games, so like, I was. I've always been very competitive with that stuff. Wow. All the time. Yeah. Shout out yeah. my brother. Yeah, and I feel like. When you're talking about your brother right now, he was like very into like music too, right? Like he mm-hmm. was in the band and stuff too. Yep. 
For sure. So that's why you would say Riot Fest. I'm, I'm trying to imagine you like jumping into these fucking like mosh oh pits of these crowds. That shit. Or like even like yeah. you said, yeah. like all this shit is just like, ah, uh, I, I see it. I'm like, I don't hate it, but I'm just like, you know what? That's not my vibe. So, I watch it from up top. When you're in a mosh pit, are you supposed to hit people? Yeah. Well, That's like a thing? You're so it's more so a release. Mm. Right? Because I've seen so, people kick like crazy. Oh yeah, people kick. I got I got knocked out by a guy. He elbowed me right in my face. Damn. And, and then, then they picked me back it? up and crowd surfed me. It was Fuck. amazing. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> but yes, like everyone's just kind of going wild. That Letting is crazy. Energy out. Yeah. Crazy. System of Down though. Incredible. That's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I grew up listening to like rock. Mm. Yeah. So that's like what I grew up on. Yeah. I never really got into it. I've been always more hip hop and stuff. <laughs> Damn, I just lost my th- my train. What that Playboy Cardi picture? <laughs> you even think oh, about that? I was I was gonna bring that. <laughs> yeah. So like, I don't know if you saw that. He What's was wearing it? like a pretty revealing. Cardi Is that a thong? We ain't never gonna get Cardi on the pod now, gang. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, Not he's really. gonna he's gonna, gonna like scam us too. Oh, like no, like a mesh are, shirt. Look, no, it's not no, really, no, let me it's explain like it. Water. Water. I know exactly what this is because mm-hmm. I do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a body suit. It's a body suit. Yeah, okay. I that shit gives you the worst wedgie mm. ever. Like, ladies, I know you know what I'm talking about, but when you unclip it, you just want to feel free. <laughs> you just leave it. It's literally just the bottom of the. Bottom yeah, suit. and that's what we call it later. But when you pull it up initially, you're like, "Damn!" Like, it looks like a thong. Like like, yeah, and, and I know it's that. But I'm just like, "Ooh, like this." You're cutting it close, but it's the body yeah. suit for sure. You see it like coming towards the thing, but yeah. So yeah. how do you feel like as a woman, like seeing this? Is this attractive or like the body you, suit, or just like a oh, guy? So in I, I would have went up to him and been like, "Hey, bro, tuck that in." <laughs> uh, but your your fits fire. Oh, okay. You know, okay. um, nice. Fashion is so versatile. Do whatever you want. Yeah, Honestly. he's definitely pushing the limit. I think. You uh, think so? Everything he... said, "Is this what you guys like? <laughs> like, like Do you this? want that?" <laughs> 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 new bodysuit coming out soon. Paula said, "Bring real masculinity back." <laughs> nah, I don't, I, don't, I don't hate on it. It's just crazy. Like, I don't, these are what the kids are into. So, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn. Uh, so obviously, everyone's been seeing the Vision Pro stuff. No? Oh, the Apple thing, the Apple stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you guys God. feel about it? Yeah, the goggles. Are you gonna get one? No. no. Never. No. Okay. For what? That's just so expensive. I have a, a lot phone already. Yeah. And I have a laptop. It looks cool. <laughs> I would get one. You, are, you <laughs> are you outside with them on the People, yeah. People have been walking, walking around, around with them, and I'm like, I know I know that screen is blocking your vision right now. Oh, for That's sure. That's dangerous. Mm. I don't think so, because it's supposed to be like goggles. So you're supposed to be able to see right through it, like mm. like regular. Like, it's like, like if you're, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I know. I get what you mean. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like people pulling things up while they're walking. I'm just like. You're it's definitely really, dangerous, yeah. Yeah, you're Those not people drive with really it seeing shit. what's in front of you. I don't know. Damn, I wouldn't hell? get this one. I'm waiting on like version like four or five because I, I know it'll get better. I want it to because right now you have to have that cable running through and you put oh. it like in your pocket and shit. Whoa. Well, that's a, nah. I but, just think like it's just too much technology. I'm with it. I feel like <laughs> I'll be a cyborg now. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine like everyday life being a little easier. I don't know. Would it, would it be easier with that though i feel like editing and as far as like uh, art wise i could probably create some crazy shit uh, i it. mean yeah for sure but it's scary for sure that it looks scary like... it looks like oh when i went to hawaii i i passed a tesla store that had a tesla bot Ooh, that's oh. fire. And it was like robot it was moving no what but, does it, it do? but it looked like it could move <laughs> <laughs> But it just reminded me of like the, the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I keep seeing videos of Teslas like crashing. Oh, like, really? And they keep them like, they go crazy. They're like, damn. So well, what? Self driving. I don't know. Right? What if that goggle will control your brain, bro? I can imagine some shit right? like that. Even with they got one big button that says "crash all these." Bitches oh right shit! Now. Oh my god! And Black Mirror like type. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. They but you have that. to have something like that though. Like yeah. it has to be something like that's of that that type of status. You know what I'm saying? Like something that's like yo, like let's. I feel like they do that shit with an the iPhone. They press that shit at the same time and like, yeah, like when yeah. fuck up, they fuck up. Yeah. Those like SOS yes. things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every time the new phone comes out, that shit my started, phone sucks. Your shit starts tweaking. Uh-huh. You be damn, what's going on? 
They say, yeah, your time has been, uh, you had too much time with this. <laughs> but some people also be, like, don't upgrade. Like, people have the same, which is not an issue either. You know what I'm saying? Because people who are great at keeping their phones are good. I feel like my mom is one of them. But, like, she has not updated her phone in years. Yeah. Like, she just did because I did, because we all did, but not because, like. <laughs> not by choice. But not she's by still choice. Samsung, right? Yeah. Anything. So mm-hmm. even, like, I'm like, you can keep the hell out of a phone. Like, Dude, Androids are low-key fire. Do you have one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Apple all day. <laughs> I they was say, just yeah, saying. The camera way better. And I look at it, I'm like, I don't know. It look fine. It look cool. It doesn't look bad. And I'm just like, ah, I don't know. I mean, my dad's one of those people too. Like he wouldn't have bought a phone. He had a Galaxy S3 until like three years ago because I bought him a phone. They're on like 11 right now, right? Yeah, dude. I bought him a phone and he's like, what do I need this for? I'm like, bro, you... Your stuff is dying. <laughs> the apps, the apps aren't compatible even anymore. Like you can't even I use stuff. Yeah. Damn. And he's like, it's okay. You don't even need them shits for real. Yeah. But what do you need the apps for? Even like GPS. He's like, Jason, right. why isn't this working? I'm like, cause you got an old ass phone. <laughs> yeah. So you know. My grandma got a flip phone. Damn. Yo. She's Dude, good. Those things yeah. are sturdy as fuck. I know. Yeah. I, I used to love the razor too. I just hate about people like. I was never, but I was also <laughs> never. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted OG to give me that. She, I wanted the sidekick too. Never got either one of them shits. Oh my god, I was a BlackBerry girl. I, I had a BBM. Yeah. Blackberries not are so cool. Not a BBL, cool. BBM. <laughs> <laughs> my first phone was the Virgin Mobile, the White Pearl, like that big ass Virgin Mobile. You can get those shits from Walmart. Dude, you know what mine all. was? My dad got it for me. He was very conservative. <laughs> it was a Nextel like flip phone that construction workers used and that would like like a walkie talkie yeah. oh, oh shit yeah. oh my like god he'd be like where the fuck you at Bring. Uh, and then he always felt like mad embarrassed like and then he'd be like there better not be boys there and I'm like fuck (laughs) does it automatically play on the other side yeah it's like a walkie talkie wow that's so funny that's crazy he said this is what we'll do yeah here's your first phone yup I was like oh my god (laughs) that's funny (laughs) he'd be like message me back (laughs) (laughs) and this ain't free so after nine I mean for the version mobile I don't know if y'all y'all had Nextels and fancy shit i'm like i had the version mobile we bought that joint from walgreens legit <laughs> like bought it from walgreens yeah the prepaid cards and yeah. 20, 25 cents a text you know that i remember that. yeah <laughs> dude. i had a nokia that shit is ridiculous dude i fucked tra- up i got in so much trouble one time <laughs> he was like oh <laughs> yeah because nah because like you know how those ringtones you had to buy them at one point mm-hmm. and like i didn't really know yes. and i was just buying I used to one put mine up to the tv <laughs> like my, my phone oh to, to record it yeah no, the voicemail. The voicemail. Voice yeah. Oh, yeah, y'all, it's bright. <laughs> oh, I can't fuck. get to the phone right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Let's go back to the song. Oh, I remember man. I was recording Diamonds. Uh, fuck, it was a song with Fabulous, though. Diamonds on my damn chain. Diamonds on my... That shit was fire. The video was crazy, too. Crazy. I recorded the fuck out of that shit. Like, but I was a big fan. I'm still a Fab fan. I was a big Fab fan back then. So I was like... <laughs> yeah. You're like this is gonna go crazy right now. Yeah, I remember that. That shit was funny. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. All right, yeah. Or, or the the voice when you'd be like, "Hello." Uh, Just oh, I god. hate that. The crazy part I is, hate I, that. I, swear to god, I had that shit to like two years, to like two three years oh ago. Oh my god. Maybe like four, and then like whoever I was working for at the time was like, "Yo." Like yo, you need to change that shit. Like you're. I would hate you. I'd be like, that shit. My shit was like that for years. Like like out of high school. Like I was a grown ass man. Like with that with that fucking voice message. You know that you had that shit till last week. (laughs) (laughs) The guy who told me that shit though, but they're like they sat down and they're like, yo, like. You need to stop professional. (laughs) This is a professional, bro. I'm like, you you know what? You're right. You're right. He literally put fab back on there. (laughs) (laughs) Damn near. This is the shit. I ain't gonna lie. I saw this shit premiere on BET, 106 in Park. That's on. Mm-hmm. Diamonds in my damn shame. Dude, I remember I went to the BET Awards and seeing Mary J. Blige. Damn. Live. So how did that happen? That's just, okay. I'm like, how did that? How did Slight that come flex. to be? How, how oh, did you go to the BET Awards? We got invited. Uh, oh, like VH1. Yeah. That's crazy. So we ended up going, and it was Nipsey Hussle's like tribute mm. dude it was crazy yeah. it was beautiful i was like wow this is amazing it was really yeah. fun so was that in california that's in cali yeah we were in la okay yeah, yeah. at the um what center is that is this staples center? i don't know that's what i'm like damn i'd be I'd probably make i would hope bet is at the i would hope the award it's is huge. At the it was a huge center, place so yeah. it probably was that 
Okay. Yeah. I don't know. But it was dope. The first uh, R&B winner actually got their first Grammy, like, recently. Hmm? Did you Did you see that? Um, damn. Monet. The Janelle Monet? Jan- is it Janelle Monet? Janelle that's the only Monet I know. Queen. Yeah, that's the only Monet I, know, I really know. Besides the one from, no. like, Power and shit. I ain't gonna lie, but... <laughs> um, but Janelle Monet is she's fine. I feel like she's so underrated. I like love she's her. She's like so underrated. With like, didn't she have something out here in Chicago? Yeah, she like, had a that during blind the summer. Barber or yeah, during the summer for her album. That's what I thought. Yeah, and then she was on. I mean, she's always featured on things, but you know, she's on Tizo Touchdown album. She fucking killed that shit. Yeah. I love Janelle Monet. I think she's very like she's dope. Yeah. That's not, I'm not talking about her. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> Victoria Monet. Victor- See, so, so, I don't know. Who is that? so wait, Victoria, so wait, you know so, Victoria so, Monet. Like, Oh, my mama. The Grammys. I'll be in my hood. Oh, oh yes, fly. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry, Victoria. I, <laughs> I think she uh, she barely got, like, the first Grammy for, like, an R&B artist. And then people were just saying, like, that's crazy because R&B is such, like, a big I love category. R&B. She even had a, such a big, like, year. Like, she didn't have a huge year, bro. You know who put me on her? AC. Shout out to AC. Really? Yeah, bro. He she put me under Janelle Monet. Wow. I said Janelle Monet. Goddamn. <laughs> Victoria. I'm sorry, Victor. Look, I'm my bad. I ain't. Vicky I'm girl. Sorry. Vicky. Vicky we Monet. Love you, girl. Yeah, Congrats. for real. But he put me on her. I feel like she's like this year. She's like everywhere. Like you see her all the time. Like all on the radio. Wait. But, so what? SZA. Huh. What SZA? She's not R and B. I don't. I she so is, too, but I don't know bro. what she wants. She I think pop? she won. I think she won the. I mean, I feel like once you get that big. It's like you don't she got everything. no choice. Like you, you just that. You know yeah. what I mean? You know what she said on Twitter that I saw that I was like, okay, shut up. <laughs> she said, "I don't make music for cancers." Whoa. I was like, Damn. shut the hell She's up. Not oh, see, your great. music is so emotional, but it's not for us. Stop playing. Yeah, you know. I'm like a cancer man. I love, her I love, I love me some Solana. I love me some Solana. So I'm like, hey, I feel you. You know, I'm not mad at you. I love her music. Yeah. I don't. I feel like what is she? She. I think she won a feature. I don't even think she won the main, like. No, she got best R and B track or something. Best like R and B song. Snooze, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, okay. Well, that makes sense. That so, video yeah. fire. Yeah. Jay Z um, did like a crazy speech. It was pretty mm-hmm. popular. And then I, I guess like they boycott the Grammys like every year or something. Mm-hmm. But he just did. Came he win? To get what did he, he win for? Like? He won a Dr. Dre award. Okay, or for sure. I'm like, what the hell did Jay? Yeah, I was for? like, I haven't heard. Yeah. I'm not gonna say he, you know, what I'm saying, but I'm like, oh, did he put anything out? Like, it was like um, a big award for Dr. Dre. And, and then, they just, they just, did they just start this Dr. Dre award? <laughs> I'm the second A. <laughs> yeah, I've second never A-M. heard of this. Yeah, where are the other ones? Dr. At? Dre Global Impact Award. <laughs> so who won the first? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, who won the first one? Dr. Dre won the first one. <laughs> 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 he gave it to himself. <laughs> that, uh, Dr. Dre, mm, no, that's the first career Grammy. Let's see, hold up. Making awards is funny. We should make a user friendly award. We can award. make a user friendly award. Oh, you should. We can, like, we can. like, best podcast of the year. Mm. Oh, no, that's smart. Best worst guest? podcast you of the year. <laughs> <laughs> best guest? Worst guest? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I'm all nervous. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he was expecting you to bring. What did you say you was gonna make? Pozole? No, you said something else. Like you said, like damn. I feel like it was at the beginning of the party. You said you're gonna make something, or like like food. Yes. I don't she recall. Didn't, didn't <laughs> yeah, make, no, see, I, well, okay. No, well, maybe. I'm I'm just, <laughs> you know what we should do though? One of these days. Um, you should bring your co- your podcast to the crib, and I'll just cook. Come on, oh, that'd be fine. See, damn, that should have been the plan today. <laughs> that would have been dope because I could, I could have talked to you guys while I cook. Yeah, damn, but crazy. also like it's a nice like setup for like a part like two, a part two, part two. You yeah, know what I'm part two would be yeah. dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah as long cool. as you guys are okay with my dog, we're, we're Gucci. What kind of dog do you have? I have a pit bull slash. German I feel like since he gave us a warning, to... he might be aggressive. No, right? he's actually a big baby. Oh, okay. um, yeah. she said no. He don't bite. He's but <laughs> not everyone. <laughs> Your leg is off. <laughs> uh, I only say that because not everyone likes dogs. Mm. Pits he... get a bad reps. Yeah, they do. Yeah, Doctors? but he's he's yeah. mixed. He's big. He's like mm. tall. Oh. He's a big angel. I like dogs that don't think. Oh, they don't know that <laughs> they're they big. Think... That, that, I he like dogs it. that know that don't know that they're big. Like, he really they're does. Innocently, it. like playful. You're like, damn, bro. You know you're huge. Bro. It's okay. Like, I love you. He's the one that'll like sit on your lap, and you're like, my legs are numb. Uh. <laughs> That's him. He's a sweet angel. Hmm. Yeah, I got him tattooed on my arm. 
Oh, that's fire. Everyone's like, oh, my God, what happened to your dog? I'm like, he's at home. <laughs> 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 I just love him so much. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, I think we should get into some questions from the people. Um, yeah. You got a few. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> the Skin Body Studio asked, what, hobby, what habits do you have to take care of your mental health? Ooh, actually, that's the best esthetician in my life. That's oh, Patty. Shout out, Patty. Shout out, Patty, y'all. Um, <clears throat> I think the best habits are holding myself accountable for my mm. mental health. Just because I feel like with grief and everything that I've gone through in the past, like I have a storyline that's kind of wild that not a lot of people know about. But I always have to hold myself accountable when I'm losing myself because it's really easy to distract yourself from your reality. Yeah. Uh, instead of just being present and sitting what you feel and like, oh, okay, this is affecting me right now. How am I going to find a solution or how am I going to handle this? Because before I used to just distract myself with things to do instead of facing what was actually happening in my life. Um, and I think that alone just like changed my perspective. So mm -hmm. hold yourself accountable when you're getting lost. Therapy too. Therapy. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't jumped into that bag yet. I, I think the gym helps a lot. Like I try to hit the gym when I feel like I'm spiraling. Like, mm -hmm. I need to get, like, some energy out. Um, weed. Yeah. Helps a lot but I feel too. like sometimes, like, weed don't, like... Because weed is just something I like to do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's yeah. It's, like, masking anything. Um, I was, like, literally just talking to a, a I friend. guess it's habit, too. I was talking to a friend, and, like, she had a family member who just passed. And she's, like, asking me, because I work at a dispensary. She's asking me, like, yo, like, is there anything that can, like, help with, like, like, depression? Even with depression. And I'm, like, yo, like, there's honestly nothing. I just told her, like, I don't think... Anything, mm. you know what I'm saying? Besides like talking to somebody, like talking to yeah. somebody, you know what I'm saying? Can yeah, yeah. help with that? But it's like such a funny thing. People would be trying to mash shit up. And I'm not going to say, we've done that shit for years where we're just like going through shit, like PTSD. Like anybody living in Chicago, I feel like I got PTSD of some sort. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Um, But just like fucking smoking, like smoking dope or like, I never like even like pop pills for real, but like you like know people who pop pills and went through shit like that. Yeah. And it's like, that's like years of like masking. I'm not going to say I don't like smoking, but I know smoking dope ain't going to be like, it's not going to make me less like, maybe in the moment I'll be less stressed after I take my first thing. I'll be like, ah, you know what? Maybe... I didn't need to get that mad, but like it doesn't fix nothing. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't like yeah. be like it doesn't like take care of the issue. It yeah. just makes you feel like distracted. Yeah, it just distracts you for the I, moment. I don't you know? think any substance will fix your problems. You have to fix your own. You have to like face yourself, right? Because I always tell people like if you don't allow yourself to be vulnerable and feel what it is that you're feeling, you're just gonna push it down, and yeah. one day you're just gonna explode, and it's just gonna be like too far gone. Mm. You know? Yeah. Velvet Hawk. Asked, where did we learn how to cook? You taught yourself, right? Yeah, I taught myself everything. I've burned so many <laughs> things, dude. I've undercooked <laughs> things before, like dangerous. Yeah. And like, Chicken? yeah. Oh. oh, God. <laughs> okay. At times. Um, did the I, smoke alarm like go off? Or oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> like where you're trying to fan it on the yeah. chair and you open the windows and then the fire department shows up. Yeah, I literally just taught myself trial and error. Literally, doesn't yeah. it like help you so much like when you see like damn like maybe i undercooked this but now it's like a perfect dish and like now like no like the exact time i need to have it on like whatever you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. the fire or whatever you got it on but it's all growth so whether it's good or bad nobody's great at cooking i love those off, times you know? though because yeah. like i would invite friends over to try my <laughs> my poor friends man <laughs> and my sister <laughs> um i would like have people over to taste test for me mm. And I've had people look at me with, mmm, it's so good. <laughs> I know you hate it. <laughs> um, but I'd always get, like, constructive criticism because I took it very seriously because I'm like, no, like, I really want to be really good at this. Like, tell me the truth. And they're like, oh, it sucks. That's awesome. I'm like, I appreciate that. <laughs> That's important for everything. Like Constructive yeah. criticism. We try to tell ourselves all the time. Like, even with... Uh, you posted your photo shoot. I feel like I had to give you like some like honest. Yeah, you did, but you know it didn't work. It like <laughs> I feel like you gave me some honesty, but I'm like, yo, like. Oh, for your birthday? Yeah. Yeah, I did like a photo shoot. He's going crazy. That blanket was that a blanket? It was a. It's a like a. It's a poncho vest. That's like, that like, was not even like a full poncho. It's like a like kind of half crop. I want yeah. that. But we turned it into like a little you know little shawl, you know little cover. But uh, it was fun. It was very. It was very. Shout out to the best to do this, Alexandro, Silhouette Matt. Of course, I was gonna mention Silhouette. I can't, I can't mention nothing, but 
I feel like my boys always come through for me. Uh, I feel like if God ain't wanted to happen, if it wasn't supposed to happen, you wouldn't have linked. God wanted to happen, but uh, it's always good. I feel like it's always good. We literally did that the day before, so it was like twenty four. Like <laughs> it's like that day. I think I went to sleep at like. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about your modeling career. Like two o'clock. <laughs> now you're getting booked. Hey, you know, I, so you I ain't going to say that? too much. Right, but, yeah. but, <laughs> you model? I mean, I, I do a little bit of everything like you. Okay. I do, <laughs> just like yeah, I, I dip, I dabble, you yeah. know. You know. We'll I, talk about that on the future episode, I guess. But that's awesome. You model too, though. You were on the Jordan app and you do a lot. I was I was on the sneakers app. That was actually app. really dope. Sorry. I collect sneakers. So I was like, mm. oh, finally a W. Hey. <laughs> do you consider yourself a model or? Nah. Oh, you just do it for like. I just, I just like to do fun stuff. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Can I model? I'll try. <laughs> that shit, you know what? But it's not. That shit is not easy. I was like, it was a couple pictures where I got with Junior. He called me sleep because we were just up all night. Like we were literally from there. From by the time I got off work, I think like at six. From like we were there for like seven hours. So from like six to like when I left, it was just like. Like it was like to two o'clock, one o'clock, but I was just like falling asleep in the shit like this, and Junior's taking. <laughs> but they don't look like a lot of them don't look. I just appreciate. I told him like, thank you for not waking me up because we were all tired as fuck that day. I want to see those. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm close>. <laughs> <laughs> Jiggy Shad said, "If you could tell your younger self a piece of advice, what would it be?" Huh, that's a great one. I would say take every risk. Mm, just take fun. every risk. I used to play it safe. And nothing ever came from it. Just a lot of regret. Mm. Like, yeah. man, I should have tried that. Man, I should have done that. Man, I wonder where I would be if I did this. So it's like now I'm like, let's just do it. Even like quitting a job, that was pretty That like, was very risky, risky. right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't even know who that was in there. I was like, that was not me. That was like my <laughs> my spirit or something. Does I they swear. like try to keep you? Like they like try to like fight for you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. And I was just like, nah, I'm good. Mm. I value myself too much. Yeah. You undervalue me. There's yeah. a bunch Deuces. Of there. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I love it. So Nico Knows Best asks, how do you cope with unfortunate reality? This is, of course, for all of us, too. Life, you know, things. How do we? How do I cope with it? Yeah, like unfortunate circumstances, reality. Mm. I always, like, take a step back and just kind of, like, process what's happening. Because I'm a very reactive person. And one of the things to discipline myself is to hold on a second, process it before you react. Because sometimes things that are unfortunate are very small, but we make them so big, right? Mm. So like there's moments where something that's really inconvenient can ruin my whole day, but it's like, dude, but there's a solution, just relax. Or if there's like a loss, it's like, that's life. You just gotta take a second, process it, feel it and move forward. I feel like through loss, like, I've learned just, like, like it's literally like that. Sometimes you kind of got to make yourself feel because, like, shit be so, like, numbing and you hear so much, like, shit going on or bad shit or you just be, like, you know what I'm saying? You didn't have a lot of people, like, or, like, or probably that aren't here anymore. So a lot of the time I had to, like, kind of fight myself out the numbness because I would be, like, damn. But if it would be, like, somebody else. I feel like I would hurt somebody like myself, but then if it was, like, a like a family member or, like, a, you know what I'm saying? Like, a friend, like. I don't like. I know. I've never been the person. To, I can't say right away. Like I'm sorry for your loss because I don't think that's a genuine thing. And but also like you're hearing the same thing from like 500 different people. So going through like hearing that myself is like I don't want to like make anybody feel like how I felt like when they told like me I'm oh, sorry for your loss. Especially like even like with my dad too. Like being a kid when you're a fucking kid. I'm in. I'm in sixth grade, so you don't know like. So people are just saying, be strong. And it's like, you go back to that, like, in your mind. I'll be thinking about that all the time. And I'm like, bro, I was a kid. Like, how could I have been, how could I have been any stronger than what I was? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, shit like that is just, like, things I think about. Like, so even when when people lose people, I don't like to, like, say right away, like, yo, like, sorry for this. Like, I got to give to somebody damn, like, I weak myself because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the process is depending on what, like, the situation it was. Like, dude, that shit sucks. And it's like. You're not going, I don't know, I feel like everybody's just saying, like I said, everybody's just saying the same thing, so you can't, like, it's, I'm not. you're not getting anything from that. I'm not trying to be inspirational, like, to you at the moment, but it's, like, also, like, just let you know, like, yo, somebody loves you. You know what I'm saying? We, people yeah. love you, but I feel like just going through that shit is just, like, what I've, like, I've been processing myself, like, getting older, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, like, let me not say this to this person. But maybe, like, that person needs to hear that, but, like, some things, like, that's happened to me, I'm just, I don't want to let, I wouldn't want anybody else to feel like how I felt, like, in that situation. Of, like, loss or, like, fucking unfortunate shit happening. Oh, yeah. I mean, just to bounce off that real quick, I think 
loss in general is so different for every single person, nothing is relatable. And to tell someone like, you're so strong. You need you need to be strong for you and your family. It's like, I don't want to be. I don't have a choice. But that's what I have to do, right? I, I always thought about that with grief, like you said, like, the so, people just say things because it's routine. Mm. And so now you look at it differently because now you experienced it. Yeah, like, I just hate, like, my mom would text me. This is like, I'm not I'm not calling out my mom. I'm just saying. Like, uh, <laughs> I forgot something happened. But it was a family member who's, somebody passed with them. And she's like, yeah, you need to text them. I'm like, well, and I told her, like, well, what do you want me to say? Like, right now, what do you want me to say? Mm -hmm. That you just didn't tell them. You just told them the same thing. You want me to tell them the same thing? I'm like, I can't. I can't do that mm -hmm. because it doesn't. It don't, it's not. It don't feel genuine for me. But it's like to that person, I know they don't want to fucking hear that shit. It's like regardless, like it's. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear it. Thank mm -hmm. you for it. Thank you for telling me. Like being courteous, but it's like what the fuck? <laughs> that shit can't do nothing for me right it's now. It's probably like, just like my condolences. Yeah, like, that's, and that's like, like it's different, but just yeah. saying like. Yeah. But it's just the things like I say like people. So many people. I've, I've, you heard, I've heard so, so many things. Mm -hmm. It's like. Y'all, I got love for you. I love you. I'm praying for you. You feel me? I feel yeah. like, that's what I feel like that's always worked for me. Like thinking about shit like that, like later. But that's just me processing stuff. So everybody, like every everybody's different. But like, I'm just like, ah, like everybody says that shit. I gotta tell you, like, I gotta tell you a week later, a couple of days later, but something like, I like, I love you. Just keep it at that. Cause it's nothing like as I feel like that's as the the purest thing you can say is, I love you or I'm praying for you. You know what I'm saying? For anybody going through some shit, it's like. Even if somebody don't believe in fucking what you believe in, like, yo, like, somebody, like, got your back or somebody, like, is thinking about you. Mm hmm So, you know, life was funny. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, one last question from Rami. He asked, will a chocolate chip cookie be a good warm-up before a run? I'm going to just flip that. And also, I wanted to ask you, like, with your cooking, do you make it healthy? Or is it, like, you just make it as good as possible? Like, you don't care about making it healthy? Um... Uh, to answer <laughs> the well, first does question, does help? I don't. Know. No. <laughs> what? Not even for like a. You know, like sometimes what you know, on you know, earth? Sometimes when you at the gym and they'll give you like they'll be like yo like you just have like Eat a rice crispy treat. Like yeah, that don't work. A spike you sweet. could. You could. Some people. Okay, so like there's alternatives for uh for like to get your energy. Okay. If sugar's your way, eat whatever the hell you want. I don't care. But get that workout in. Mm. That's all that matters. Put in the work and. That's it. So if I ate, yeah. So if I ate one before the workout, like after the workout, not saying after, maybe before to get my sugar going. If you I could got, if you want. I mean, I'm not saying if, I'm saying it for Rami, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if he's trolling. I, or if he I, I, I don't think it would help. It probably wouldn't. I don't, yeah, I don't, like, honestly, yeah. Maybe like, like a banana or something. I did, I did hear though, like some people that run, like they'll eat like a scoop of honey. Cause it's supposed to be like health, a bit healthier, and the sugar is still there. But like a cookie has like so much more, you know. It has like fats and like yep. fucking yeah. whatever. What he said. Yeah, I watch a lot of cooking videos. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree though. Um, as far as my cooking, I I like to make it very enjoyable, but still healthy for you. Okay, cool. Like I'm not gonna use a like a bunch of extra things. I, I like using. The ingredients that I use to produce natural flavor. Mm. If I if I use like a little bit of chicken bouillon or whatever y'all call it, Ooh. I don't know. I call it North Suiza. <laughs> but um, <laughs> that's the sausage. <laughs> what is that? What is that? She said chicken. Chicken. But I thought you said chicken bouillon. flavoring. She said bouillon. What did you say? <laughs> oh, what is it? Is that what it's called? Like, my ass. I'm like chicken I think that's bouillon. The name, I'm like, like, what's like the that? name it's, on the package? Like, the, the, like, like chicken broth. Is it? It's like the chicken broth powder okay. or like whatever. Sometimes I'll use that like for my rice because I like mm. a little double dab in there. Mm. Um, but <laughs> I like to make them enjoyable. But when you're done eating my meal, you're not going to feel like shit. You know, like when you go out to eat and you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to go in a food coma. I had that recently. It was bad. Yeah. It, but it was so oily good. and fried that I was just like, why did the itis Dude, I was yeah. like, why did we order this? Yeah. It's because like your body's like, oh, my God, what? is happening right now and like mm. for me I, I like to create meals where like you're gonna enjoy it at dinner but i can meal prep this for you and you're gonna love it every day and it's hello protein hello good fats all that good stuff sounds amazing i believe it, it. i'm not gonna, yeah i believe it amazing. i believe it pretty great damn <laughs>
<laughs> Non-biased opinion, y'all. <laughs> I've never had the cooking, but I believe it. I'm telling you, because yeah. soon she says it, she's like so confident. But then it's like you look in the eye, and I'm like, okay, I believe you. Like you don't gotta. It's like you're cooking is just so very crazy. So cooking is like my favorite good, hobby. Good, like I feel like I could cook good on one day, but that second day might not be the. I'm not saying I'm bad, but that. It might not taste like that first day for me. <laughs> I feel like I might be more on that first day and that second day I might be like, get too confident. And I'll be like, Ooh, You consider like, it a hobby? Yeah. Or isn't it like a career at this point? I feel like you've been. I mean. Um, or not yet until you start making. This. I mean, yes, I've gotten paid for it. Right. right? Is it. I mean, maybe now. Right. That I left my yeah. job and I took that risk. Could be a reason. Um, but. Yeah, I think that actually give me that drive to actually take it a little bit more seriously. But cooking has always been my hobby. Nice. I literally did it for fun. That's my love language. I love feeding you. Mm. That's me. All I you see you, out like, there. I can see you like renting out venues and like providing cooking and like charging per plate. Like I'm, there's another person that does that, but it's like infused. It's like oh, cannabis. is it herbal notes? Manny. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I actually just started like working with like him and his brother. They they pretty much just let me in the kitchen and let me see their process. Mm. And uh, I was helping him prep for a dinner, and I was like, I want to be a part of this. This nice. is sick. Yeah. And he's so good at what he does. And like the whole team is so experienced and like they're amazing. And I was like, wow, this is very different for me. Like I have never worked with other people in the kitchen. I'm the one that's like, get the hell out of my way. <laughs> right. Like, don't come in here. Go over there. Leave me alone. <laughs> let me. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm like, chef. let me cook and go over there. Um, but being able to like collaborate with these people and work together and seeing how they prep certain things for such a big crowd and like. I was like, oh, wow, this is so different for me. and But I really enjoyed it. So, like, hopefully moving forward, yeah, we're going to, you know, do something together. So We're on the road to that white coat. Okay. That, that chef coat, you know? Oh. Hat with the hat. I want the hat. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. Let me get the fit off, but I'll put the hat on. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Adriana, for coming on. Thanks this for having me. This is a lovely me. episode. Another episode of User Friendly. Uh, you can follow us at User Friendly Podcast, Instagram, Twitter. I mean, X. Every fucking week, I always forget. It's, it's still X, Twitter. Um, yeah. Twitter at slash X. Twitter. X slash Twitter. The most important is YouTube. You can watch our videos on YouTube. Um, <laughs> where can they find you? Mm. You know it. Your socials by heart. I do, actually. Uh, my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, X. Um, it's all Dreenoculars. Let's go. So that's at D R I N O. <laughs> C-U-L-A-R-S. Mm, this is a spelling podcast. <laughs> it is. Um, follow me. I'm very interactive with everybody. I, li- I love when people ask me for recipes or send me messages. I'm not one of those people that are uptight. I love interacting with people on my profile. So, yeah, follow me. Be on the lookout for that cooking book. Yeah. For sure. I'm gonna yeah, be ready. One. Be hungry. <laughs> uh, you can follow me on Pablo Trees, Pops Prince. I have hoodies. Beans, sweatpants, body suits shit. coming soon. Body suits coming <laughs> soon. Uh, <laughs> where can they find you, Square? <laughs> Square. You can find me at Squared Hill everywhere. Not everywhere, but just Squared Hill on every platform. Um, yeah, Comfy Fit. C M F Y F I T T S. New new soon. Let's go. Uno and out. Yeah, Uno and out. <laughs> I'm telling you, Chicago style, baby. <laughs> Chicago style. Uh, you can find me at JS uh, out of order. I got shirts coming soon. I'm still recovering, so it'll be there soon. <laughs> that Bye. bachelor party was lit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Thank you guys. Rex, Bye. we miss you. Rex, we miss yeah, you. Come, come back. back. Yeah. <laughs>